So what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am of course Lethal Apollo. Hope everybody's doing fine and well, having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get yourself two Blundergats and upgrade them in the same game so you can get the Vitrolic Withering and also the Magnagat in the same game in Blood of the Dead. So if this video helps you out guys, drop me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss an upload. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video. So we're going to need a couple of things guys, we're going to need the shield and the warden's key, we're also going to need the hell's retriever. So I recommend getting started straight away on round 1, build the shield on round 1, if you need help with that there's a guide on my channel, links in the description and a card will be on screen and now. Once you've built the shield you want to move on to the 3 wolf heads, fill those as quick as you can and get yourself the hell's retriever. Once you've acquired the Hell's Retrieve, guys, you can move on to the next step. We're going to be collecting five blue skulls that are located around the map. The one skull outside the Warden's house and in between his office, we're going to leave that till last. Be efficient in your game, as I always say, guys. Collect all of the Acid Gap pieces, we're going to need those. The first piece is in that cabinet up towards the rooftop. And you can also get your first blue skull from the rooftop. So from there you want to make your way back down to the original mob of the dead spawn area for your second skull. This can spawn in the toilet, or should I say will spawn in the toilet. From there you can move on to the new spawn in between the industries and spawn and get your third skull from the steps. Now we want to make our way back to the main prison, but there's a second Blundergat piece there, so go ahead and pick that suitcase up. That is your second Acid Gap piece. You don't need to do the Golden Spork quest, but I find the uh, fork helps me out in the Warden's House upgrading the Magna Gap. But as I said, it's not necessary for this quest. Your fourth skull then can be found at the docks, and once you've got that fourth skull, you want to be moving on back up to the main prison. Collect your third and final Blundergat piece, which is just outside the Warden's office. And from there, you want to make your way to a mystery box and get yourself a Blundergat. I was very lucky and I got the Blundergat first time, but this could actually take anywhere from 1 to 10 tries. So try and get as many points together as early in your game as you can. Once you've acquired the Blunder Gap, make your way to one of the empty workbenches that you've left unoccupied. Go ahead and upgrade it to the Acid Gat, and then you want to pick it back up. Okay, so from here now, guys, we're going to make our way down in between the uh, Warden's Office and the Warden's House for our fifth and final Blue Skull. Just checking we've got a crawler. Okay, so as you can see in just a second, as I collect the fifth skull, the Blundergat appears on the Warden's desk, but it will not let me pick it up because I've already got a Blundergat. So that's fine, it doesn't really stop us getting it. All we need to do now is move on to the next process. So bring your Acid Gat to the Warden's house, place it in the fireplace, but be careful with this, guys. You've, this is going to have a time limit. Your Blundergat will disappear if you take too long. But you want to place the Blundergat in the Warden's house and go ahead and get as many kills as it takes to charge up the three skulls on the fireplace. If you collect the little blue bits of spirit that come from the zombies, these skulls seem to charge much faster, in my opinion, than just waiting for the blue spirits to move up to the windows and doors. So I do recommend collecting them, it does charge the skulls much quicker. Once you see that you can now leave the Warden's house, don't place the essence in the fireplace, make your way over to your free Blundergat. Go ahead and pick it up, and now we want to move on to upgrading it. So we're going to take it back up to the Acid Gap workbench. As I said guys in the Warden's house, do not place the essence just yet. Come up and get your Acid Gap first, make sure the zombies don't down you. You do not have to do this on the same round, but I do recommend doing it on the same round, guys. So, now you've got your Acid Gat, or your second Acid Gat, you want to make your way back to the Warden's house. 
As I said, the Golden Sport comes in really useful here because it's a one-hit kill on any zombies that get in your way while you're trying to upgrade the Magna Gat, although it isn't necessary. Once you've got your second Acid Gat, come back to the first original one, place the Essence in the fireplace, and then pick up the Tempered Blunder Gat. Now, this is going to require us to take it to five bins to charge it with tempered heat to keep the metal hot until we get to the new industries area where the machine will upgrade it for us. So you just want to follow my path, come all the way through the main prison, through past the cafeteria, remembering to charge it with that blue tempered heat at each of the barrel locations and make your way across the catwalk. As you can see, all the zombies are a one-hit kill, so it makes it really easy for me to just get on with what I'm doing. So you want to make your way back to the new industries, as I said, charging your tempered blundergat all the way. And as soon as you get to the new industries building, you'll be able to place it in the machine for the upgrade process. As you can see, we've still got our acid gat, and we'll get a warden spawn in. Go ahead and take this warden out, take the zombies out if you want to now it is fine to move on to the next round but you can go ahead and pick up this second blundergat and as you can see we have now got two blundergats both of them upgraded one to the magna gat and one to the acid gat you can upgrade these again even further by pack a punching them so you'll get the upgraded version of the magna gat with two shots per barrel and you'll get the vitrolic withering version of the acid gat which is still a one shot but they do have their own ammo capacity which is pretty cool and I did do a little bit of testing on that to make sure they did have their own ammo capacity. So that's it guys, that's how you get two Blundergats in the same game. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, drop me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click notifications so you never miss any of my uploads. With that being said guys, thanks for watching. I've been Lethal Apollo, you guys have been awesome and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, have a great time.